The Beast with Five Fingers, 1946, directed by Robert Flory, starring Robert Alda, Andrea King, and Peter Lorre. A pianist who lost control of his right hand passes away the night he signs his will, and everyone present is a suspect. Was it one of them, or did he die by his own murderous hand? Jack Daniels was the dialogue director of this film. This sounds like a joke I'm making up, but I'm not. What's nice about this film is it doesn't become supernatural until the second act. The first act stays fairly grounded with no foreshadowing. Like any good murder mystery, every suspect has a probable motive. It isn't until they start dying off that the innocent are revealed. I was thoroughly impressed by how many red herrings this film successfully managed to pull off. It really does keep you guessing until the end. Kurt Siodmak wrote the screenplay for this film. Other scripts written by Siodmak include Earth vs. the Flying Saucers and Universal's 1941 classic, The Wolfman. This is my second film on the channel to feature Peter Lorre, also the second film he's in that involves hands. I guess you could say things got pretty out of hand for him. Peter Lorre also tends to chew the scenery whenever he's on screen as Peter Lorre tended to do. The optical effects in this film are seriously impressive. They are brief, but memorable, and incredibly effective. Verdict recommended. A murder mystery worth getting your hands on. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling, low-budget adventure.